still a long way. Tighten your shoes. Shoulders. And my fingers. My weakest part. Hey, good morning. morning. Are you on the morning run? Yeah. Yeah, do you mind if I join you? Yeah. yeah. Ah, cool. <laughs> I don't have to run alone. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, I like the light here in Finland. The next month it's not possible to get that much light. Yeah, so I mean like last time I saw you, we were in uh, Turin and you told me, I don't know, I need a holiday <laughs> and see how it goes there, the beach, the book. Did it go this way? Yeah, but first I went to Lapland to ski one week and it was really awesome. I had so much energy to ski the long, uh, long tours with actually Selina. Uh -huh. She was there too with her family, so it was a super nice week to end the ski season and after that we went to Thailand. Oh, yeah. In the first week I was really relaxed and I was like, oh, so nice to be here, not to think about biathlon, but to think about the sports. And then the second week was really tough. I started to think that what should I do with my life? Should I quit or should I continue? And all the things were so open in our team. Now that was quite confusing because I know that I can train pretty much alone in the summer but if I want to make a success in the winter I also need a really good team and so I it was a little bit stressful second week of holidays but then when I came home the things started to figure out and then it was finally easy decision in the end here we are again <laughs> that's good good should we keep on running a little bit yeah sounds good Keep on going. It's Barcelona. I have with these years, I have accepted that it's ups and lows, and it's everyone. That's the reason why people like these sports, I think. Oh, let's have some stretch again. I ask people to join the competition just to wrote uh, some memory about my career or if they have met me in the food store or talked to me somewhere or whatever. Now it's almost 900 requests from last evening wow. and then people are telling so cool stories that <laughs> well, not yet anybody has said that I was partying with you somewhere. <laughs> Then I, yesterday I kind of realized that, okay, that that pattern has grew up a li really much in the last years in Finland. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's something I can be proud of because this sport really deserves that. We have been so long time only the cross country and now the biathlon seems to be really... <laughs> what do you look forward to then, to this new season? Uh, I hope that I can still have fun. I hope that I can really enjoy my job, not only stress about tomorrow's race or the race. There will be a lot of races during during this winter and I think that I'm more calm than what I used to be when I was younger. So I know how this World Cup is going on, rolling on. Anyway, someday it's a bad result. Someday maybe better results. Try only focus what you are doing, not stress about that if somebody's going really fast in the training. So, so. <laughs> so Kaiser, should we expect you back for what three seasons? Maybe Olympics? Nah, not not three seasons. One or two. I had a bit difficult summer, and during the summer I was thinking many times that 
I only want to survive until next, next spring. But you never know. And everybody is talking about Antholtz. It's Antholtz World Championships 2020. It's, I think that there's a lot of athletes who really wait for that. It's for sure one of the favorite places for everybody, but you never know. I go season by season now with, with this age, with this body, which seems that it's not working like when I was 25. And I have to accept that. I have had good years and I hope to have one or two good years again. Good. Yeah. Okay. Hey, let's finish the run. Well, you know what? I think I'm really slowing you down today. <laughs> so, I'll see you at the stadium. Ah, it's still a long way to go, but see you. Okay, ciao.